Hey guys, my name's Chris James, I'm a graphic designer based in Lancashire and in today's video I'm going to show you another tutorial but in Photoshop. Now this tutorial is going to be on how to mask and hide part of an image so that you can save it and bring it into the likes of InDesign. So I'm just going to switch to the Mac now and show you the tutorial. So I've already got my artwork set up what I want to use in my document and I'm just going to pick out probably this egg because it's, um, it's not covered by anything, it's quite a simple shape. So I'm just going to click the pen tool and I'll just zoom in a little bit just so I can see a bit better. And all I'm going to do is I'm almost just going to create like an outline of the egg shape using the pen tool. Now you can be as quick or as intricate as you want when you're doing this. All I would advise though is that you try and stay uh, slightly inside the shape that you're wanting to mask just so that when it does um, get masked you don't find you get any of the other image uh, showing through. So I'm just quickly doing that. There we go. So now I've got the shape selected, I'm just going to go over to the Paths tool and now you can see we've got like a path here. Um, obviously the grey area shows the part of the image that's not going to be masked and the white area shows the image that's going to show through. So we're going to save the path. Uh, I'm going to call mine Sweets. And then I'm going to click the Clipping Path. Now you won't really need to change anything in here, just make sure that you've got your correct path selected and click OK. And now what we can do is we can just save it as a sweet, maybe sweet one because that's what the original image is called. So I'm, I'm saving it as a JPEG. Now you can also uh, save it as a Photoshop EPS if you want, but I'll just save it as a JPEG. Okay, now I'm going to go into InDesign and get my page up that I want and all I'm going to do now is place the sweets one, place the image in. Now obviously you can see that the thumbnail that I've got doesn't show anything that's masked but don't worry once we come to click it and create our bounding box it um there you go so it's masked so don't worry if you see the thumbnail of the full image um persevere just obviously do what i've done then is click uh, drag it in and you should have the image that you've masked now just to prove that it is masked you can see there's a big bounding box which is what the full image is. And there you go, so that's how we can create the mask. Let's move that over there, perfect. So there you go, I hope you've enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial. Uh, if you've liked it, let me know below. If you've not liked it, let me know below because I'm happy to take on any of your feedback as I want to improve on these videos, to improve on the content to make sure that I'm delivering great videos uh, and tutorials to the graphic design world. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. Tune in for the next one. Thanks.